I got displays that jingle, jangle, jingle. I got, well, they don't really jingle, jangle, jingle because if my displays jingle, jangle, jingled, they probably wouldn't work. But I got a lot of displays. And as the uh, French mathematician and philosopher Rene Descartes said, um, cogito ergo sum, which I believe translates as you can never have enough displays for your Arduino or something like that. I got another one. Okay, here's what is included in the package. We've got this little thank you card that tells you pretty much nothing except they want a good review on Amazon. And there is a little tutorial down here. We get the screen, a little micro USB power adapter breadboard thingy, which is actually kind of nice. And the cable with the JSH connector. And then we get the board itself. <clears throat> so let's zoom in here a little bit. So this screen, well, the board itself is what, seven and a half by about four and a half. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize it went out of focus there. Oh, it's not, f what the, there we go. Let's try that again. And put it in frame. So there's about seven and a half by about four and a half. And then in imperial measurements, getting just about three inches by about an inch and a half. And a diagonal measurement of two and three quarter or about seven. Now if we flip this over and look at this side of the old board, we've got a uh, micro SD slot here. We've got the processor, which is what makes this thing special. This is an STM32. We've got the touch sensor here. I'm not sure what this one is. I'll have to look it up. And then we've got the power connector. It's like, a, like those Grove connectors. So we will plug that in and bring our little breadboard here, plug in our breadboard power supply module. I like to say module, it makes me feel like I work for NASA, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's plug that guy in. All right. Then I want to double check here. You guys see that? Uh, 5 volt is red, TX is blue, RX is yellow, ground is black. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure that we plug those in properly. It's always sad when they go boom on their first day. Alright, so positive to red, negative to black. And we have something. Let me, uh, let me zoom in here so you guys get a better view. Oh, it does not like to focus on that screen. Must be too reflective. Now this is a resistive screen and not a capacitive screen. It will work with the stylus. Now I haven't done anything except take this out of the box. This is how it comes. So if I touch, okay, prove me wrong. There we go. That's page one, text and button. Just takes a little more pressure. Page two, progress bar. And it's got the little plus here. If I touch it, that goes up. 
than the vertical progress bars. Good. Home. Picture. Zoom in. Zoom out. I'm not going to go through all of this. These are just some demo features. Um, there's the gauges. This all looks very nice. And the benefit of it, of course, is it only needs a serial connection, RX and TX, to work with any microprocessor or microcontroller. So it'll work with your Raspberry Pi. It will work with your Arduino or your Particle Photon or your Feather or your ESP8266 or whatever you want because the processor is built in to the display. Now I went to this address here and let's go over to the computer and see what it took us to. All right, so that link brings us here. And this is the Nextion HMI solution page. And we can come down here, it gives us an overview and it tells us the different models, the instruction set, a link to download the editor, which I have done. And this is actually nice, a uh, link for a 3D printing bezel. And you can download it and 3D print out a nice bezel. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm impressed by that. Useful links, manual, form, contest entries and there's some demos here so I have downloaded this which is the next yawn editor we are not going to get into that today because I don't know a thing about it it is uh, all Greek to me as they say now I have also downloaded the Arduino libraries. All right, so for libraries, we go sketch, include libraries, manage libraries, and this will bring up our Arduino library manager. And then once the library manager is up, I just type next to on. And we get the Neo next to on Arduino library. You can click the more info button and it'll take you over here, give you a little bit of information about it. So if we go over here to file examples and scroll down through my multitude of libraries, we find the Neo Nextion and all sorts. Let's bring up the gauge file. So here's all of this good stuff. But let's go back to this one, which is the system settings hardware serial. Let's see if it will compile. Okay, so it's not liking Serial 1. Interesting. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, Serial 1 is only available on the Mega. So let's just try Serial and see what we get. I think it might be looking promising here. Maybe it'll compile. Maybe. Yes. Okay. It's going to compile. So let's go back to the bench and hook it up. All right. So we know that code will compile. I'm going to discombobulate it from all of this stuff here. 
and we will rebobulate it over to this Arduino Uno. So let's zoom in so you guys can get a look at the connections here. All right, red is five volts. Black is ground. TX is blue. Okay, I don't know if I need to switch them or not. You guys are probably all yelling at me. But hey, we'll try it this way. And if it doesn't work, then we'll switch them around and try it the other way. Because that's how we do stuff. All right. Let me, let me entertain you. Let me uh, ship that code over here. All right, it is uploading now. It is done uploading. And nothing has happened. So let's say we got those connections wrong. I will switch them over. Switchy, switchy. And then we'll plug it back in. Well, we got a blue screen. And it's got. Oh, uh, hello. It's got a dot. It looks like a dot. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me go and have a look at the serial monitor. Okay, the serial monitor is giving, okay. So that code simply sends information from the Nexteon back to the computer. All right, we gotta find something different, something interesting. All right, let's see if we can find something interesting. Examples. Yeah, next John. What do we got? Button checkbox crop. I thought that was going to be interesting, so that shows you what I know, huh? All right, uh, system settings, hardware serial, text, timer, variables, waveform. I don't know. All right, how about basic graphics? Looks like it's going to draw some boxes. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll compile it and we'll see what happens. Well, it looks like it might compile. Okay, so it compiles. Next, we will ship it over to the Duino. Okay, here it comes. Oh, we've got multiple errors. An error occurred uploading the sketch. Nothing is in sync, it says. Averdude STK 500 get sync attempt one of 10 not in sync. Oh my. All right, I'm going to try it one more time. And if she don't upload this time, then I'm probably done playing with it. All right, while it's uploading and thinking about uploading, uh, here are my thoughts. I like that it only takes two wires. I don't like that you have to use an entire separate editor to design your screens. I like that it handles all the graphics on an on screen or an on, uh, on module processor so it frees up your Arduino for other things but I think in general yeah it's not going to upload okay I think that in general I would give this a thumbs down this for the average Arduino guy is probably more complicated and involved than we want to mess around with and for the price 
Um, it's a few bucks more than a plain old TFT touchscreen, with it, which in all honesty isn't that hard to program. So I wouldn't recommend this. But, you know, you guys do what you want. Anyway, that's it for today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. This was bought with Patreon money. Without you guys, uh, videos like this would not be possible. That's it. I'm out. Peace.